Well, I think one thing, and I talk about this a lot, is whenever you're investing in China, you're always going to have political risks. And I think what's you know interesting about it is these three companies specifically have very little exposure to the U.S. So really, as a you know some sort of security risk, they probably pose a very little security risk. Whereas you know companies like Huawei, they were clearly spying in their 5G technology, and you also have other companies like TikTok, where you know basically you know American users are using the technology. So I think that's number one. But number two, what I would mention about these three companies specifically is they're dirt cheap. You know, they're old school telecoms. They pay anywhere between four and seven percent dividends. And Gregory just mentioned how abysmal yields are here in the U.S. And, you know, they, they basically trade at single digit multiples. So I think as an investor right now, when you start thinking about like where to put money, it doesn't have to necessarily be in China, but a lot of these telecoms, I mean, take Verizon, take AT&T, they all trade cheap and they all have huge, huge dividends right now. And, you know, if we have inflation, which you could potentially get here, mm -hmm. you're going to want to have cash flow coming into your portfolio. Whereas if you just buy the mm -hmm. big six in the U.S. now, and I came up with a terrible acronym, so bear with me here. FATGAM, that's Facebook, Apple, Tesla, Google, Amazon, Microsoft. You know, they all trade at like 25 to 180 times earnings. Mm -hmm. They pay no dividends right now. And I think it just speaks to how cheap and basically, you know, how much value there is around mm -hmm. the world right now if you diversify right. your money.